This morning, a former state worker here in New Mexico is suing the state, saying that it didn't just cook the books, but fired him for being a whistleblower on the issue. Robert Ortiz used to be the deputy director at the State Department of Health, but says he got fired last month for talking to the media. Ortiz was supposed to make sure all the federal dollars added up for a program that helps low-income women and children here. But he says that was not happening. That's a no-no by, by federal regulations. Mr. Ortiz tells us when he brought up the problem to his supervisors, they told him to keep everything the way it was. Now he is suing the state for violating the Whistleblower Act. The state says, yes, there were some mistakes, but they were just simple accounting errors. Well, dozens of people in Rio Rancho are out of a job this morning after a round of layoffs at Hewlett Packard. 50 workers have been laid off at the plant there after HP says it was cutting 8% of its workers worldwide back in May. This is the third company in just three weeks to say it's laying off workers in and around Albuquerque. Loveless here is laying off 80 people, and Shot Solar is cutting 250 jobs. For months, Santa Fe police suspected two murders just a few blocks away from each other were connected. And this morning, they say they now have DNA evidence to prove it. Police say 34 year old Ethan Boyer was found dead in his home back in February. Police suspected he encountered a burglar. Then, a few weeks later, David Martinez, a man police say had a history of burglaries, turned up dead just a few blocks away. Detectives say they found the known burglar's DNA outside of Boyer's home. Do we know if he was inside the house and if he had direct correlation to Mr. Boyer's death? No, that, that question hasn't been answered. That's our next step. All right, now police say this man right here, Felix Martinez, is the suspected burglar's brother. He, too, is a person of interest in Boyer's death. And in a bizarre twist, cops believe that he killed his own brother. And then another man, Sam Leba, is also a person of interest in Boyer's death. And speaking of being a person of interest, this morning, Roswell police are now questioning someone about the recent murder of a teenager, 18 year old Arnulfo Vieja was shot and killed Friday night. Police say a group of people were fighting outside of a home when someone opened fire, shooting off more than a dozen rounds. 18-year-old Israel V. Hill was arrested on Sunday, accused of violating his probation. Police are now questioning him about the homicide. Albuquerque police want your help this morning to find a man they say shot three people at a child's birthday party last week. Right now, they're looking for this man, Ernest Jimenez. They say he shot three adults after a party at this home on Kelly Northeast Tuesday night. All of them should recover. Jimenez is wanted for aggravated battery and violating his probation. A man accused of robbing several cell phone stores in Albuquerque is set to be back in court today. Oscar Marquez's arraignment is set for later this morning. Investigators say he robbed about a dozen cell phone stores around town. They also say Rebecca Rasmussen helped him. She is now charged with being an accomplice. This morning, we have learned that driver inattention was to blame for a wreck that killed a 16 year old Cleveland High School student. Adrian Garcia was killed in April when he crossed into oncoming traffic on Paseo de Volcan. The crash injured a woman and her six year old daughter. Investigators released their findings yesterday and they say there was no evidence that Garcia was texting or on the phone at all. Garcia was going 59 in a 55 mile per hour zone. Rio Rancho police say it's not clear why he swerved into oncoming traffic. A construction worker is recovering from his injuries after being hit by a car in Santa Fe. Police say Cynthia Lujan was not paying attention yesterday when she was driving through the construction zone on I-25 near St. Francis. They say she hit a barrel and the worker. She was cited for driver inattention. The construction worker will survive. The city swimming pool in Portales is closed this morning because the state found out a sick child was in it. The state health department says that child has some sort of an intestinal disease. Health workers say people who are in the pool with the child should not be worried because the water did have enough chlorine in it to kill all the germs. The city is now treating the pool. It should be open again later this week.